Greetings my dear friends in Christ, I am the Reverend Martin Wokeby, Archbishop of Sanctimony. As we all celebrate the resurrection of Christ this Easter weekend, we also remember with heavy hearts the story of his persecution. The central image of Christianity, Christ on the crucifix, a picture of pain, punishment and the human capacity for malice. Crucifixion, of course, a brutal form of execution routinely practised by the Romans as a means of producing social conformity. The dead bodies of the condemned would remain hung on crosses for days as a stark warning to others to toe the line and follow the rules. Of course, we now live in far more civilised times. These days, if anyone dares to ask questions, to engage in critical thinking, to ridicule social convention, to reject received wisdom, we don't hang them from crucifixes, we simply subject them to cancel culture. If an individual chooses to mock what we might call woke culture, if they reject critical race theory, if they refuse to put the interests of trans people above the safety concerns of biological women, if they point out gaping flaws, prejudices and hypocrisies inherent in diversity and inclusivity workplace dogma, then we don't execute them in a literal sense, we simply make sure that their lives are no longer worth living, which of course is far more humane. We smear them with unsubstantiated accusations of bigotry, sexism, racism or transphobia. We get them sacked from their jobs by targeting their employer with threats and abuse. We have them socially ostracised by sustained attacks on social media. We shame them. We make a very public spectacle of them being shamed. Even if they don't feel shame and they don't have anything rationally to be ashamed about, we nonetheless make sure that the public perception of them is of someone who has done something despicable and beyond redemption. Even though all these people have ever really done is express an idea beyond the realms of conventional thinking, we make damn sure what small life they've spent decades building for themselves is ruined beyond repair. And you know, I think Jesus would have approved of that. Of course, many people would suggest that the key values of Christianity are compassion, humility, forgiveness and redemption. But so often these values are not compatible with progress. And by progress, what we of course mean is Marxism. The story of humanity is a story of suffering, suffering that we heap upon each other through closed mindedness and intolerance. And this Easter, let's all celebrate woke culture for carrying on that fine tradition. In the name of Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates and Pfizer Pharmaceuticals, Amen.